Yes, yes, yes. This is Arthur Lewis at All From Gardening, live at the Grenada Food Forest, where my mission is to get you growing. In today's video, I want to report on what has happened with the Grenada Food Forest over the weekend with the heavy rainfall that we received on Saturday 15th of July. But before we get into the video, I just want you to put a click of fertilizer on that like button. And remember, when you share the video, you're really irrigating this channel so it could grow, just like our beautiful garden. Right, so like I said in the intro, on Saturday 15th of July, we had a massive amount of rainfall uh, all over the island, probably over the region as well, and know a few places. Uh, also receive a massive amount of rainfall and this is from the all of those tropical wave activities that are happening right now in the Atlantic Ocean um, unprecedented rainfall for the area and as you can see I'm standing in the middle of, of our veg area um, and all we can see is soil erosion this have been cut, you know, where the, the, the beds are supposed to continue in this area. If you follow me here, so you can see that the land, the land is cut here, and a massive amount of slippage has taken place. I've lost uh, probably about a ton of soil here, maybe more. I would say about three, four truckloads of soil. You know, that soil used to be soil that I grew my veggies in, that I grew cocoa in. Um, the land is cut in this direction. I don't know if the camera could pick it up, but it's this is just waiting for the next bit of rainfall. To, to slip away you know and that is just some of the action that has happened um, we're gonna go to another area so as you can see this is the blogger it's lying on the ground um, this hole that the water has made almost completely covering me this is an actual orange tree that used to be standing somewhere about here. So it's now lying in this ravine, this ditch that has been created by the motion of water in the middle of, of uh, my garden. You know, um, when I came here on Saturday, tears almost fill my eyes because we currently we're walking in this area. You know, we're preparing this area to put in, uh, <laughs> even now it's, it's difficult for me to speak about it, you know, but that is what is happening here at the Grenada Food Forest. Yeah, so we're dealing with a considerable amount of, of land slippage. This area here has dropped about uh two three feet you could see where it's cut from the bank here and you could see where it's dropped to on the and all this is because of how the water has moved you know in the landscape and we could also look at why this is happening why this water is entering the landscape. Right now I'm standing in a uh, public road. I do not own this road. This road is in boundary with my property. Um, if we look here it's supposed to be the drain where the water flows during 
times of rainfall and so on. Those drains, they're all clogged up. Uh, people use here to graze heavy animals. They tramp up everything, turn into one thing. And so, when it rains, instead of the water flowing, merrily past my property, right now, there is no place for the water to go. There is a blockade right there. So all this water, you talk about water from all over, all the properties, and all this water flows straight into, into my garden. And of course, I have not drained for that amount of water. So it puts me in a very precarious and it puts me in a vulnerable position well it puts the garden in a vulnerable position and as we can see you know due to that amount of exposure i'm dealing with a massive amount of erosion a massive amount of land slippage and natural disasters happen at the grenada food forest the grenada food forest is slowly slipping away and whose responsibility is it to do this i usually drain you know i like i i have to drain the road as we will see up there <laughs> i'm fumbling over my words uh last video you could see clearly that this whole thing has upset me a bit you know um yeah it's my responsibility to drain my property is it my responsibility to drain the road um should i even be thinking about it like that uh, can I have a consortium of effort, all the farmers in the area we come together and drink.